I'm just saying, like, or so. <laughs> <laughs> we're the perfect team. We're That's what we always say. Oh, the gosh. perfect made team. Made the song Together when we were first forever. We're so the awkward. perfect team. We're so awkward. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I this said is, crap on delay, Sunday morning. Right? I was like, With somebody oh, just man. consistently <laughs> asking that over and over again. There's what a did delay, you say? right? <laughs> oh, I said some of God being like, yeah, I don't know. I was like, crap, chick, this is you. I said crap on Sunday morning <laughs> during <laughs> well, That's better than, you know. I was like, whoops. I did. Yeah. Afterwards, I was like, Matt, I said crap while I was saying, talking about <laughs> I was like, oh, I know. <laughs> I, I had to turn, I muted it so Grace didn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly Mama. what she'd say too, just like Mama. that. Mama. Mama. She does that to me because I do it to her. Race, bro. She said, "Crap." <laughs> <laughs> One. Welcome to Life Point Table Talk. We are here tonight with Matt and Chick Sprout. And Chick, what are we going to be talking about tonight? Well, this whole we're in a pandemic, this whole thing. I just love relationships. And I, I had mentioned uh, Pastor Jeff, I was like, man, we really need to talk about marriages and making it through all this time that we're at home. And so uh, he invited Matt and I, we're here to yes. talk so about it. We're tell us a it. little bit. Of, so tell us a little bit of your being at home before we get into the other part. Have you been together these two months? So I think the yeah. first week. Yeah, we're we'll, we're still together. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're making it through, guys. Um, no, so the first week of it, I think Matt was still going into work, but then after that, he's worked from home. So, <laughs> all so he set up in the dining room his little station, and so we're all four there together, like many of you that may be listening. <laughs> so it's office at home. Yeah, for for the most part, I got I got my station over there. You made sure, uh, like when I went to the end of the dining room table, which was a little bit longer, um, you made sure the next day to go. Okay, let's just make this table shorter. And look, I've set up another table for you right here, and you can put all your stuff on that. Isn't that so nice? Like, oh, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got my little station there. I got my picture in the background. I got some natural light coming through the window. Um, for your the headset. Calls, yeah. I, got, I got my own little corner there, so that's that's really nice, actually. Nice. But it's your first time at office at home, though, right? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I uh, I got my work follows me everywhere I go. I feel like so, you know, I, it's not like I haven't worked from home before. Before, but this is the first time where it's more official kind yeah. of stuff. So, well, tell us what's been happening. How you? Doing? Yeah. So that's what Matt and I just wanted to talk about. Just you know what you're doing. Um, what we're doing, what other people are doing to make it through. Cause I think, you know, marriage is a, is a hard work. Mm. And then when you apply this kind of pressure to it, I think it's easy to fall apart. And so, um, not that we have it down pat, not that we're like 100% winners here, but we're working hard <laughs> at it, you know? And 200%. so, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess like, so we were talking about a couple of things and I asked a few other couples that I really trust and love about like, what are they doing? What are you guys doing to, you know, um, work on your marriage or make it through this? Because obviously for some people being at home right now is awesome and is super good family time that they haven't had before. And with a slim, you know, kind of slimmed down schedule where you can just be at home is so great. But for others, it's, you know, if you live in a super small house or you haven't been home like this before, it's going to be very stressful. Well, I think that's the right perspective is, is like that as much as you can get there, you know, like, like looking at it like, okay, here's the bad parts, but here are the, here are the good parts, you know, kind of thing. And even the hard stuff can be the good part because if you grow and you work through it and like, okay, if you can't, I mean, it's, it's good to be kind of trapped in the space with somebody, like, believe it or not, like God's going to use it to like work on you and to, to mm -hmm. kind of dive into like, okay, so what, it, what's that, what is, why am I so uncomfortable in this spot and look inside yourself a little bit, you know, <laughs> like, well, if I can't be, you know, what's, what's behind that, you know? Right. Well, and what Pastor Jeff said a couple of weeks ago in his message, just talking about the bad is always there and it's always pretty prevalent, but looking for the good yeah. is, you know, is effective. And so I, I feel like that is really has to be your deliberate strategy in marriage at any time. But especially I think right now when there's like pressure 
So for me, I think the default for everybody is just to be like negative or to be irritated or to um, focus in on the faults, but to be deliberate about looking for the good, the good in your spouse, what they're doing, what, you know, what they're bringing to the table, that kind of, that kind of positive. That stuff, that stuff's okay. It's okay to be irritated and all that. That's part of working through the change and like, <laughs> like going and doing it. Like, like it's just gonna, that's just the way life is. If you're next to somebody enough, like you do that, that's part of what makes it special, honestly. Yeah, it's like part of confess your faults. Yeah. Yeah. Some One of that. to another that you may be healed. That's a whole part of it i think there's kind of a honeymoon phase to it though wasn't it? yeah so you I think bet, yeah. It's like, hey, and then yeah. oh it's family. so great and then it's then like it's, oh we're still here oh no <laughs> <laughs> we're still together yeah. <laughs> it, start, it starts winding down and and then you do face the yeah. the and reality it, of things sometimes it's easier like even when you're married like when you're not married like you're not in each other's space and business and you don't know like oh every 12 seconds matt touches his ear you know and it's like oh for goodness sakes if he touches his <laughs> ear one more time that. you don't know that when you're dating no he doesn't do and then <laughs> and then when you get married uh, you find out that stuff but uh we'd read a i don't know uh, rob bell had a book uh whatever you think about him but um <laughs> <laughs> he had a book and, and that was one of the things that he pointed out is like, that's one of the things that makes things, the marriage special it's too, like is together. you're the only two people who know about that, know that stuff about each other. And like, and when you're in this situation again, like marriage, you get your task going. And if you have a family and you have lots of kids and lots of things to do, like some of that maybe is, is kind of gets lost again because you're not on top of each other as much. You're like, you're not like, like, oh, I haven't noticed that he's touched his ear like that <laughs> for like three years since, or like six years since Grace has been born. I haven't noticed that again. Thank so you it's a, like, that. like <laughs> learning that again and like, but learning to make it special and be like, well, nobody else really notices that because they're not up in Matt's, you know, right. in, in his personal space all the time. So, so it's maybe working through the irritation and, and oh, it's cute now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, if you can get there. We also just talked about like, even in our own, marriage like not to let you in too much but just the last few weeks like taking the finding time to sit down and just communicate so there was one day where we actually sat down to talk about this uh podcast like what like what do we want to talk about or right. whatever and we ended up just fighting and um <laughs> so like real life here we're just fighting but what go what ahead, happened it's what it's happened was it was like real. i can't go in and talk <laughs> about marriage when i feel like this isn't going right for us and so then i wanted to talk about it and matt <laughs> First of all, we're so we fought about that. Yeah, so, so right. So hey. I, I really did feel like we were really, uh, we were really fighting, but uh, I, uh, chick disagreed. Right. Uh, so, uh, so, so we had to work like... through that too in order to get to that other part exactly. to work through to fight through that. Right. And... So first, I had to show him that we were not doing well. It's like no, it's and true. Then... It's like no. And then I had to say no. So. Guys and girls, you know, you're so different, but Matt and I are very different, so we have to work sometimes to meet in the middle. But I think it was more about, like, I was feeling like we weren't getting to connect very well. Like, we were moving into roommate phase, if that makes sense, like, where you're just kind of existing together. And I was like, that's not enough for me. I need to feel like I need to connect with you. And so he, he was, his interpretation, though, is that we were connecting, but I I wasn't feeling that way. So it was a matter of fighting through like the pride of like I'm right or you're right and mm. then staying with it because sometimes I don't know ladies if you're listening it, you tend to like just want to withdraw and run away because he's not understanding what you're saying but to stay there and say no I'm going to work through this and then both of us trying to come up with ways that like okay so here's the issue is I'm not feeling connected to you what are some ways we feel connected? Like what makes me feel connected? What mm. makes him feel connected? And can we work towards? Well, and just even middle? thinking about, well, how has the day been going? Like, well, what are the different parts and where, where are opportunities to, to do something to help like whatever right. it happens to be and be, be a little analytical about it, which I'll go to immediately. <laughs> of course. But, but it does, <laughs> I think there is some value in that and really like, okay, let's break it down and see like what's going on here. And like, well, where could we find her? What is the thing that we could do that to help us with that particular thing? It could be anything, but um, this even rescheduling your day, that that routine in a lot of, I mean, that's another piece with the COVID stuff is all your routines got blew up uh, in most right. cases. So right. it's reestablishing those or, or making what works. Like uh, we were, uh, I realized after that conversation, it's like, oh, we, 
you stop praying in the morning during right. like this. Like, no wonder things are you're like you're feeling less connected and just in general kind of stuff. Uh, like, well, OK, well, you got to get back on that because I was just walking downstairs and Instead it felt like more work. of an event. Like I'm off to I'm off to the war, you know, <laughs> like kind of thing. Like, OK, you was get some armor on you before you go out the door. But um, but yeah, I mean, you got to so keep just doing being it. in the same house or room is not the same as together right or that's what chick keeps telling me <laughs> yeah well you know obviously well, like I'm, reggie's not here so i'm <laughs> right yeah, i think probably I it depends on your situation. love language like yeah. some people are into it or not into it but it explains a lot of things for me like one of my main uh love languages is quality time i want to spend quality time with you but ex existing in the same room doesn't count sorry it doesn't count <laughs> and so like if I don't have your attention or I don't like and that's the thing is like um I was talking to Annie and Russell and they are so awesome because they are deliberate about spending time together communicating every single night and I'm like that is amazing that's almost too much for me like I don't want to spend time that much time with Matt every single night in close contact and communication <laughs> But some of it, like, I, I need some connection time. And so that's, I guess that's, you got to know your spouse a little bit too. Like, yeah. you know, Matt is a service guy. So, like, if I make him a sandwich for lunch, man, I'm so speaking awesome. his language. Yes, yes. I went and got refilled. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. It really did. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Right she does love me. <laughs> Sandwiches, man. <laughs> or I go and refill his drink or whatever, you know, like, I can serve yeah. him in that way. That speaks his language. But yeah, I think listening too is a, part of communication oh yeah so that's something i learned over the years with reggie and i is how important listening is yeah that i have to focus on that part it's yeah. part of the deal it's part of the sacrifice it's like the joke i just saw on facebook someone said my wife says there's two big wrong things with me one is not listening and number two is whatever i don't <laughs> I forget what she said i didn't hear what she said or something like right. that you know <laughs> <laughs> number one is I don't listen in something else. And whatever, two, something forget. else you said. I didn't yeah. hear what you said or <laughs> that type of deal. So, yeah, that's part of it, listening. So what else has been happening there that's helped you um, in this? Well, I think for me and maybe other ladies or guys, I don't know. For me, it was like finding a few of the like what is a stressor for me. And so part of it was I was not used to having everybody at home all day long. They were, they are going through so many dishes and I, it was driving me it's crazy. Not, it's not me actually. Like, so it's not. It does, it's all of us as a whole. I, it doesn't I'm matter. Famously, uh, when I was a bachelor, uh, so I didn't have to do any dishes, I would make my Totino's party pizza. And then I would turn the cardboard box inside out and then put it on it. And then that's my plate. And I don't have to do any dishes <laughs> and day after day. That's okay. And I still kind of have a little bit of that mindset going in. But, yeah, we had a lot of dishes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, for me, it was it was starting to stress me out. So, I, I just made a schedule and I said, okay, here I just need you to unload the dishwasher. That's all you have to do. So that it's empty when I go to, like, do the next meal or whatever. So, I, through groaning and complaining, I scheduled days. And then... For me, that alleviated the stressor, and it felt like other people, like, shared work then and not just right. me. So I feel like you got to find what it is for you that really stresses you out and then communicate and say, like, I need help with this. Or if you're the parent, be the parent and make the schedule, you know. So they're not going to come in and offer, so you yeah. just have to tell have them. Have a plan. Have a plan, though, behind that before you go in and just be like, <laughs> or else. You know, you got to think of, you got to think it all the way out. Like, okay, when they don't do it, like, this is what's going to happen this. So that way you feel like you're confident going in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is it something you put on the fridge? Um, I didn't, but I just made it like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Matt has Sundays. <laughs> yeah, like that would help me. I, yeah, if I, I had an actual schedule, like on the fridge. Yes. Well, the girls remember, so I didn't have to. But if if there were more kids involved, I probably would have yeah. done it. So we, I bought paper products, bowls, plates. Sure. With the two boys and the cereal. You got to do it. You Whatever gotta you got to work. Yeah. 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 Buy that if that's. But we the still end up with lots of dishes, but it'd be so much more. Right. Without. Some and really, I think there. I think even for Chick, it was more about the feeling. Like I don't know how much the girls are honestly really helping you. Like Grace 
not at all. Probably it's probably she. I mean, she does a good. I mean, she's she's so awesome. But it's like, is Grace really being super effective and really lightening the load that much? Like, not really. But it's more about like everybody's contributing. I feel like we're we're in this together. You know that sort of thing. I I I always think about um, and this is crazy. What parenthood like gives you perspective with God. You're like, Oh, this is like, you're like with me, you know, kind of thing. But, (laughs) but like what Grace would want to go and like, she just want to like Saturdays, I I try to work on as much as I can around the house. And and she just want to follow me around and help me. And I loved it so much. She was slowing me down. Like for sure. She was, she slowing me down, you know, like having a two year old, like hand me the screwdriver. That's like a foot away from me is not faster than grabbing the screwdriver. But I loved it so much. I'm like, Oh God, father, you're like this. Like you, you love that. I help you. And maybe I'm not even super effective, but you just love me and like having me around and you're teaching me to be like you. And so, (laughs) yeah, it's like a child draws something. You always say it's awesome. (laughs) <laughs> whether it is or not you grace's stuff actually well. is awesome i'll have you know <laughs> <laughs> like it is amazing this is a Picasso, yeah. but okay yeah. I guess. I, yeah i just think finding the thing for you that's like the stressor and seeing how you can you know figure a different way or especially when everyone's all in your space i was thinking about that too we talked about it a little bit like just finding a little bit of your own time, like whether that means going outside or you have to do that at some point during. Yeah, that, during that is, it is. It's your own space type. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, have your own like little getaway kind of thing. And we're, we're man, I, I feel like, um, yeah, I don't want to be too like, uh, like well, we, we are amazingly blessed with a big house. So finding that space is a lot easier for, for us than it is for other people. So I know that that's a really hard thing or can be a hard option for, for uh, other people. Like when you're in a, literally a small space, like, where am I going to go? Like I'm going to go over the corner, but I think right. it's that idea. Like maybe you can escape into a book a little bit and, or be, be, be clear about your boundaries, you know, with your kid and be like, Hey, for these next 30 minutes, I really, and the kids will need practice like <laughs> doing that. Like yeah. I'm going to read and I don't want you to ask me for water or, and I'm not going to play anything right now. You just got to deal for that amount of time so I can have that. And it's, it won't work out the first, you know, few times, but eventually you can work on that. I feel like so. Yeah. Or getting creative, like bike rides. When, oh know, yeah the outside you, you yeah, can't forget about the outside with, your, with car, this yeah <laughs> no whatever kidding. whatever yeah. you gotta do to stay sane yeah. <laughs> well, we got the two boys they love their computers so they're not in our hair yeah 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 so we have to pull them away <laughs> yeah yeah from that that's to do, the other to go outside that's, that's kind of like thing. you're in the house but you're not yeah right. being a family for us it's right different that's what the other side of it i was going to say i think through this like Though you all need your own space, but being deliberate about doing something with your family, because like, why wouldn't you take advantage of everybody's at home right now? Yeah. Like be deliberate about that. Be pull out an old board game or go for a walk or go for a bike ride. I know you like to do that, Um, Mm. but that kind of thing. And then hopefully that translates when we're beyond COVID-19, hopefully. Yeah. And sitting down at the table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think reliving We've some of those uh, traditions or things that you, you have fond memories of as a family, like maybe you can, that's like what you can use to get like a teenager on board too, because they're like, oh yeah, I guess I do love Uno. Like <laughs> I remember playing Uno and it was fun and okay, I'll do it. I'll complain about it, but, I, I'll pl- <laughs> but I'll, I'm not leaving either. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, we've done movie night, which has <laughs> been good Yeah, with boys and popcorn and right. sonic the hedgehog yeah which i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my on sega on the roof. yeah it wasn't my sega. time yeah is that 90s yeah yeah it was 90, that was the first game yeah. first no i had an atari i have to take that back never mind yeah that's mine I get <laughs> mine's more caveman mm. with that but the movie night and yeah. at the table and, and the rides but I don't know. I think even during this time, I think unless you're actually deliberate about it, it just doesn't happen. I always say the default will be that you just do whatever's easiest. Yeah. And it won't happen. I think you just have to think about it a little bit and be like, I, I love this as a kid. I want to do this with my kid or whatever. Like even here, here's what mine is, is that my mom would read books out loud to us, mm-hmm. like chapter books when I was younger and couldn't read it. And so I was like, I want, I loved it so much. So that's what I've started is every night after dinner or every other night, whenever we can, 
I'll get out a chapter book and read it one chapter after dinner before we get up. And so I've been reading like some older champion dog, Prince Tom. That's what it's that's called. That's exactly it's an old what book you've been reading. Written in the name's 50s. amazing. I can't believe you haven't oh. mentioned that <laughs> beautiful name. Yeah. So You're... that's been kind of cool. But I think <laughs> if you just let default go, you'll just go watch more Netflix and you won't be right delivered about that family time. Yeah. That's a good point. It, it does go the other way, but like the, uh, how many times in your life will you have like, Oh, uh, well, no practices right. and know this and know that and know that. And like, Not even church, like in, guys. <laughs> re, yeah, really, really mining right. those diamonds out of out of this. And uh, so you look back on it fondly. You're going to everybody's going to remember it. And then you're going to say, like, yeah, where were you? your kids are going to remember it. It's like nine right. eleven or, or sure. whatever. You know, uh, it's there, it's it makes an event. Um, and are you taking advantage of it? Are you creating good opportunities and memories for your kids for the rest of their life and for you? And you know, as much as you can, you know, right. yeah. Yeah. Even through the, uh, there's going to be the, like you said, the fighting yeah, <laughs> to a degree. Yeah. Sure. Just being in the same place. Well, and uh, we've, we've read lots of like relationship books and pre-marriage books and those kind of stuff. And it was really interesting that one of the books we read we talked about like good fighting versus bad fighting. And there are good fighting, like oh, there yeah. are good fights oh, when yeah. you're fighting for, health in your marriage or you're fighting for like what you need not like in a selfish way but like I'm not going to make it unless I have some of this or whatever you know like um fighting for boundaries like we set this boundary and you're breaking it I'm going to fight you so that you realize that you know you're breaking it and we want to stay keep these boundaries in our marriage or in our family that's the good fight I I think the problem is like during this kind of it's actually- harder time it's not it, it's the silly stuff that you start to fight over this kind of tension and so yeah fight for the yeah, good it ends stuff up a blow up yeah it's over nothing because right it's over nothing right that's not the thing <laughs> right yeah that's nothing the difference really between a good one it. and a bad one it's yeah just, right. the stress has come to that what i call it, the straw right it broke the camel's, broke the camel's yeah. back yeah so yeah so go take your alone time if you need it but fight for the good stuff but you know Give them the benefit of the doubt. I think it's like, like Matt the, says that all the time. Yeah, you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. They love you. <laughs> yeah, that's your spouse loves you. They're that's not that, really love. trying to do Believe it. The best. Yeah, yeah. About every si- per- person's situation, believe the best first. Yes. Yeah, or disagree to be without being disagreeable is sure. another kind of rule. Sure. Yeah, in those situations. That's a that's a big deal. Like learning learning how to um, learning how to fight. Uh, and fight about the right stuff and fight um, as calmly as you can you know it's okay to be passionate that's important if you're talking about important things like it's it's it would be it'd be odd to to not have like to make your case and to fight for whatever truth or good thing it is from your perspective and what's going on and to 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 go down to where it is but um not like, be passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, but not 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 be uh, I, not be do it fair. I heard <laughs> somebody. I heard a relationship person say that like anytime you're disagreeing, you should touch each other, like hold hands or something <laughs> if you're married, because it's so well, hard. I don't know to stay angry at each other when you're. I don't like, think you totally agree with hands. that. Person. I know sometimes yeah. I'm like, don't touch me when I'm super upset. But but it, but that, that's the thing. I think it's like that whole like it's hard to. S- escalate to that super angry point if you're still touching <laughs> yeah we should touch right now <laughs> there i recharge you yes, your, your you. little touch you. love language i, I heard I, uh, well, that takes me back to <laughs> rama when i was single at bible college and i remember the minister was talking about how he and his wife were in a got in a fight and were in each other's face and yelling and and finally, as they're yelling at each other, he goes, you know, this is the devil, don't you? Ch- <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yes. <laughs> yes. And so that kind of, you know, th- you know, this is the devil making it. His- <laughs> I totally know. <laughs> I agree. I like this. We need to get out of this. Inspired. We need to get out of this inspired. Uh, it is funny how Jesus <laughs> calms you down. It yeah, really does. Like, you know, like, I'm just like, I want right? to be That's... angry, Jesus. Let me be angry longer. <laughs> and irrationally, is like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, I've been reading through the Gospel of Mark, and there's a point there where Jesus said, how, how, how long must I suffer thee? 
<laughs> How long do I have to put up yeah, with that was you? pretty real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long was I suffer thee? So there, that's the King James, yeah. So even they had the real deal. But look at, the, in the end, the bond. To his know. disciples. Oh, yeah. yeah. With each other. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The of infight. course. There was pretty consistent infight. Who's going to be the greatest? <laughs> Seems like it, yeah. Where's your faith? And... You know, how long? Why don't you understand yet? Right. Was <laughs> yeah. another one he, he said. Yeah. So it was that family. But then. Get behind me, Satan. Yeah. So the then they gave their lives for him. Yeah. Yeah. In the long run. Yeah. In the end. The communication, what was number two? Oh, I don't know count. if we really said. Point. Point. Uh, part two was uh, find the zebras in life. Find the zebras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, what was Number yeah. one was you're in the house, but not in the. Yeah, we were just seeing some of the it points. It takes we were... time to really communicate. They own space. Yeah, find your, oh, find yeah. your space. Yeah, we find did have points. Yeah, you know? we did. Yeah. Hey. Look at that. But yeah, communicate, find some space. Find some space. Be sincere. Yeah, be deliberate. I was, be that deliberate. Was, that was, yeah. That was my thing. Be deliberate. I just know myself. I'll just do whatever the easiest thing is. Yeah, or whatever the next thing is, yeah. uh, rather than taking being deliberate about like, right. uh, oh, I need to. Give yes. Jake a hug, or I need to yes, yes, intentionally walk over to the room, or I need to do this nice thing, you know, on purpose, not just because I've been trained to do that. And I, th- I think God does do that to you. Is he, he, yeah. once you get in the practice of kindness and things like that, like then it does become easier. But, but uh, the deliberate is like, yeah, that's, the hard part that's is awesome. like you're saying the cons- the change of schedule. Who's mm-hmm. there? Yeah, we're not there, and you had your time here, and then right the ones that are now consistently with one another, which can lead to familiarity breeds content. <laughs> uh, you forget, yeah. right? Because you're starting to take for granted because you're just around each other all the time. Yeah, I'm like ah, you know, I love you. I don't have to tell you. Right. Yeah. Kind of thing. I think you know. I think one of the struggles for me, I don't know anyone else is listening or you guys, but like with the change of schedule, then means changes like it's harder for me to find time with the Lord so if I'm not spending any time like and it can look in so many different ways but now that there are people in my house all day long Mm. whereas before when I had a good routine I would know like this is the time I get to dedicate to like whether I'm listening to worship music or I'm writing in my journal or I'm reading scripture whatever whatever it looks like for you but like that's been really hard to carve it out now and so Again, it's just that deliberate, like, if I'm not spending time with the Lord, then I'm not being reminded of who God's called me to be as a mom and as a <laughs> wife, and then I'm maybe not the best at home with them, and, you know. And as a minister. And right, yeah. And ministry's part. And, old and, community yeah. director Chick Sprout over here. Right. <laughs> but and yeah, teacher but, and right, the whole thing. Right. And so reestablishing part. those routines in, in a good yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Have you found a time of earlier or later? Or? Um. In no, between, I'm I'm as still you go along. Yeah, see, I wish I had like a really good answer. Like, yeah, I did this, but no, I'm still just you know just trying to find it when I can. Like, yeah, like it's not a guilt trip. Like I I tell I don't know, try to let people know is in ministry. Part of my job is yeah, is the studying and the praying. Yes, God's not like He knows your schedule. Right, He's not guilt tripping. No, like, no, He's not saying no. When you're at work, I need you reading your Bible eight hours. <laughs> along with your work he knows that that's not <laughs> right you know doable right no so so some things yeah so some things that i have done is that i was like i made a new playlist which sounds silly but for me that was awesome because then now i instead of just whatever was happening i've been delivered at like i'm going to play this anytime i'm in the car because it's like i have to go to walmart and it's crazy but for the three minutes i'm there and now i'm going to put my headphones in and i'm going to worship Instead of being stressed out at how close people are to me at Walmart, oh, as you're walking through? Yeah. yeah, and so like that—that's been some like just some different things that I've been like, okay, no, I gotta find this. Like today, I had to take a car ride, and so I like worshipped, and I turned it off for a while, and I was just like, I'm gonna pray a little bit before everybody else gets back in the car, and you yeah. know what I mean? Those like mm-hmm. those kind of things. I do. Uh, I listen to teaching cutting the grass. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, with the AirPods, but I can't hear. But I've learned if I turn them upside down and switch ears, <laughs> isn't that strange? It can, works. That is. That's funny. You can hear it a little bit better. I well, I so got they're sticking up the white thingy. Instead of, <laughs> oh, he's in lawnmower mode. Like, turn it up. 
<laughs> no, it's lawnmower it's time. Discovery. I got the thing for you though. Our lawnmower broke very recently. I was man trying to get as much life into that thing as I possibly could. Pulled it a thousand I times to get it to start. Finally, ago. I just yeah. couldn't. I couldn't do it, and we bought a new one in it. It's electric, so quiet. So there you go. Nice electric quiet lawnmower. You can listen to anything you Ooh, want. Yeah. <laughs> Charge up the battery when you're done. Yeah. This is so Reggie. It's you know it's part of my spiritual life. I need oh, this electric, new electric wireless electric. Yeah, charges. yeah, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I, I was thinking you had a cord going up the nope. back. No, yeah, that that would last about uh, so twenty far. seconds with me, and then I'd it. mow right over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> electric sounds good. Like that. So number four is yeah. Don't neglect the spiritual part of it too. Yeah, which is well, I, that's the part that. Help walk in the spirit and you'll not right fulfill the other right well i mean know? yeah and it's like the priorities like when when that's in place then then you've got help and you've yeah the strength you've already, the strength is the strength there. to do it right yeah. to stay it's at like home not with eating it, yes yeah it, it catches can affect you. you the same way yeah it like catches you can you. get frustrated if you've not eaten or emotional and right and it's the same with the soul i've never figured it out over the years like oh that wasn't just physical right. yeah that was from the heart, soul part of me not being as strong as it should. Right. And if I'm going to have his personality of patience or <laughs> kindness to my own family or joy, Which who are the spirit? Part. Right, right. right. Yeah. If I'm going to have his the gifts of the spirit, it's come from being around him and spending the time with him. Or yeah, the the food. I mean, that's of yeah. course it's amazing and it's it's the analogy but if you it, it works the same way you're gonna you haven't eaten for a while it's those snickers commercials like yeah you're getting all hungry and weird and stuff it's because food, you right? haven't spent any time with <laughs> yeah. the lord and right. like haven't gotten your food and like you just uh, yeah yeah you're, you're, there's more of a calm and control there putting the wrong st sort of stocking over your head like I'm when you're robbing the bank but how long have you guys been married uh yes matt how long have how we long been? have we, we <laughs> uh, let me tell you something we have been married uh -huh. for, uh -huh. we'll go 12, that's one of like the biblical numbers, right? Yes, We're going to go 12, years. yeah, yeah, 12. 12. Years. Good yeah. job, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> 12 years, so that's 2007. We got married in December Seven. 2007. Right after Christmas. Yes. So beautiful in her dress with a little bit of red in it uh, and white. Babe. So awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then you were north, now you're here. Yeah, so we lived in Cleveland, and then we moved here. Yeah. And then we searched for a church for, like, six months, and then we visited LifePoint, and felt like God was just like, stay there. We were like, okay, we're glad ready. you guys yeah. did. Wait, yeah. what? Glad you did. Oh, yeah. yeah we're glad, too. Yeah, yeah we of are course. Too. Yeah. 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 Big part. Big part. One of my college Love roommates it. told me, she said, Chick, you should go <laughs> check out this church. Um we would go there for, for youth group because it was the cool youth group. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll go. So we looked it up online yeah. and we were like, okay, we'll go check it out. So. It was Jeff though, right? He was, he was. I the, have no idea. Were, were you the youth pastor then? Maybe early nineties. Oh, it was like uh, probably later nineties. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sorry. That's why I said it's probably D. It was Darren. <laughs> probably, I mean, it might've been. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, cooler than me. everybody loves Darren. <laughs> it's on tape now. Why'd yeah. you say that? <laughs> I just, you know, truth. <laughs> yeah. Had to speak out. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks for inviting for us. For sharing. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's fun to hang out. We never want anyone get to... out of the house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were like, this is like a little day. Yeah. Uh, one of our tips yeah. is uh, if you can get out of the house to go and do a podcast. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. if it's a, it's a... We're no. taking reservations. <laughs> it's that date, yeah. that just any little bit of time, I think. <laughs> Matt's yeah. road. What? Funny. <laughs> but we'd like to include more. We'll do it again. Um, relationships and other subjects. Yeah. Not that we along, are along perfect at this. We don't ever want anyone <laughs> to think that Come we were like <laughs> 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 that we're perfect. But I feel like we're we're well, working out hard. Of ten. I'm not kidding. <laughs> out of ten, what would you rate? No, I'm, there, uh, I'm just saying, like, or so. <laughs> <laughs> we're the perfect team. We're That's what we always say. Oh, the gosh. perfect you made team. You made the song when we were first married. Forever. We're so the awkward. perfect team. You're so awkward. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Please cut that part out. <laughs> guys, guys, sing that, too. Just sing that. You're, you're in.
sing. I do. I do sing he it. Sings, I he's sing it to made you. it up our first year of marriage yep. and has sung it for yes. 12 years. Yeah, you really got to pop it. It like sounds like a per- game intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I can, yeah, get on that. <laughs> he used to try to get me when I was teaching choir. We'll be holding like, hands the whole time and jumping this. on things. <laughs> yeah. No, no. The perfect team. Oh, my gosh. Let's conclude. <laughs> so good to have the perfect team with us <laughs> on the podcast tonight. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. We will be back next week as we continue to roll. So thank you guys. Matt and Chick, it's broke. It's us. Thanks.